Hey everyone, my name is Danielle. I'm a nature interpreter with Royal Botanical Gardens here today to do a fun experiment called Stay Warm. Looking at how animals stay warm this time of year as it gets cold. So we're going to be doing an insulation experiment. And for this experiment, there's a few things that we need. We need four jars, uh, four jars with a lid. You will need a thermometer to take the temperature. You will need some warm water. So you can either take warm tap water or with the help of an adult you can warm some water up and boil some up. And then you're going to need different type of insulating materials. So think about things that might help you or help animals stay warm this time of year. So I'm going to use a few different things. I'm going to use a scarf. I'm going to use a fur and I'm going to use a pile of leaves. So you can get creative at home too. Just search around, go in your backyard, look around the house. What are some different kind of things that you might be able to use around your home? And then the other thing is that we also need a piece of paper to record our results and something to write with. So let's begin. First step, you're going to take some warm water. You're going to fill up one of your jars with some warm water. And then we're going to take the temperature at the start of the experiment. So we're going to put our thermometer right in here. And then we're going to wait until that little dial stops moving. And we're going to record on our piece of paper what the temperature of the jar is. Now with this first jar, I'm actually not going to cover it with any kind of material. It's just going to be kept out in the open. If you can do this experiment at home, if you can do it outside, that's great. If you can't do this outside, not a problem. You can actually do this even using your fridge. So the start temperature is 80 degrees. And there you go. So I'm going to close this up. I'm going to write that on my piece of paper. So the start temperature is going to be 80 degrees for my jars. 80 degrees Celsius. The same thing, fill up my jar with some water, close it nice and tight so it creates a seal so none of that heat escapes. And then with these jars, I'm going to wrap them up in some of the different materials. And now we wait. But before we wait, I also want you to think about making a prediction. What jar do you think is going to be the best at staying warm? Great, so it's been about 15 minutes. You could wait longer if you wanted to, that's fine. I waited about 15 minutes and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our jars, we're going to open up our jars one at a time, we're going to take the temperature again and we're going to record that temperature on our piece of paper. Are you ready? So as I mentioned before, we waited and went and paused. Which one do you think was the best one at staying warm? Okay, so you want your prediction. So I'm going to take my thermometer in here. And then we're just going to wait until that little dial stops moving. Now this jar is now recording at about 60 degrees temperature. So we started at 80. And it's dropped down to 60. Do the same with the jar with the scarf. Great. Our scarf is now recording at 70 degrees. Now it's time for the fur. It's jar number three. Great. Temperature has now dropped to about 75 degrees. And our last jar, that is the one covered with leaves. Temperature has dropped down to about 68 degrees. So now that we've recorded the start temperature and the end temperature, we need to do a little bit of math. We want to see what the difference is in the temperatures. You're going to take your temperature at the beginning and you're going to subtract the temperature at the end. And you're going to record that on your sheet of paper. So take a few minutes to do that. All 
All right, let's see who the winner is. Jar number one, it was not covered in anything. It lost about 20 degrees. So that means that the temperature difference was about 20 degrees. Jar number two, that was the one that was covered in our scarf. That one had a difference of about 10 degrees. Jar number three, we found a difference of only five degrees. And jar number four, that was the one with the leaves, had a difference of 12 degrees. So that means that our winner clearly is jar number three. And jar number three is the one that was covered in fur. Was that your prediction? Good guess, I know that was my prediction. So what is it that you guys do to stay warm this time of year, especially in the winter? Right? What are some of the things that humans do? Well, in case you can't tell, I'm wearing a hat. So you might want to wear a hat. You might want to wear a coat or a scarf or some mitts. And those are all things that are going to help keep us warm. They act as what we call insulators. And they do that by actually trapping air against our body. So there's little air pockets that's stuck inside of your coat. And those little air pockets, that's what's going to help to keep you warm. When we think about animals, they use different things to be able to stay warm in the winter. If I think about an animal like a walrus or a polar bear, those are mammals that live in the Arctic where it's really cold and they're going to be in the water. And in the water, those animals, they usually have a big, thick layer of blubber or fat. And the fat also helps to trap in the heat and makes it so that it's hard for the heat to escape their bodies. And then, of course, we have animals that might be covered in things like fur or even feathers. And just like our winter coats, they're going to have air pockets that is going to be able to hold on to some of that heat. When I think about an animal, especially around here, we have our beaver. And our beaver is really great at staying warm this time of year. And that's because, well, he's got special fur. He's got two kinds of fur, or really hairs. The top hairs, those are the ones that are really long and coarse. But those long, coarse hairs, they're covered in oil. And that oil makes it so that it's like having a raincoat. It doesn't allow the water to seep into their body. But they also have these down hairs, that really fluffy stuff. And those really fine down hairs, that is what's trapping all that heat inside their fur and inside their body so it doesn't escape in the cold. So thank you so much for joining me today. I've had so much fun doing this experiment. I invite you to try out this experiment at home. Let us know how it went. Get creative. You don't need to use the same materials I did, but why not use some different types of materials and make some predictions as to what you think is going to be better at staying warm. And remember, you stay warm as well by putting on some hats or mitts or coats and enjoyed the winter. So until next time, have fun. Take care, everyone.